So, you have installed LSPDFR, but are you looking to get a bit more immersion and a bit more realism out of your game? Then look no further. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another LSPDFR tutorial. In today's video, we are going to be going through how to install Stop the Ped, Ultimate Backup and Compulite for LSPDFR from Bajoyjo. Now what these plugins do is they allow a greater immersion into the LSPDFR experience but it also allows us to have a little bit more fun. So to start with we want to go up to our browser and we want to type in Bajoyjo so that's B-E-J-O-I-J-O -I -I and then if you just put .com it will take you directly to the only official website of Bajoyjo and on the screen we can see that we have a few different options available. So we're going to start with Stop the Ped. And what Stop the Ped does is it allows us a more realistic stopping for pedestrians. It allows a greater wide of questions that we can ask them. We can stop them peacefully, uh, one at a time. We can stop them while aiming our weapon at them. Uh, using the menu, so quick rundown of features. You can ask for their ID, issue warnings or citations question them, get them to follow you, you can grab them so you can move them, you can pat them down, search them, breathalyze them, drug swab them. You can request a police buddy if you have ultimate backup installed to search down the ped as well. You can request taxis, Ubers, ambulance or police transports for peds. And so what we're going to do is we are going to go down to the button, find our download, click on the download button and then save it to a place where we're going to remember it. So. I'll just save it to the desktop and that'll download right at the bottom here for us. So once you've done that, uh, if you only want stop the ped, you can skip forward a little bit in the video, but if you do want the ultimate experience, um, then you want to go to ultimate backup and what this allows us to do is it allows us to call in code two or three backups. So traffic stop backup, pursuit backup, we can call in local or state police, we can request canine, we can request female partners, we can request air support. And it's got a full integration into uh, police, uh, sorry, vocal dispatch, which is another plugin. I don't use it personally, but it is there should you want to use it. You can request fire department, um, there's a new panic button which you can integrate with some of the older plugins but we i don't recommend that you can request spoke strip support so spoke strip, spoke strip for pursuits and roadblocks amongst a few other things as well so again right down to the bottom click your download icon and then just save it to wherever you're going to remember so desktop and then we'll go back and then compulite so compulite allows us to pull up ped records vehicle records we can see whether a vehicle is roadworthy we can see whether the ped has any, has any citations arrest records current warrants gun permits and it's law friendly so it allows you to navigate using your keyboard and mouse you can use it in your police vehicle or outside of your police vehicle um outside is a little tablet you can uh, there's also a court system so you can see how long people get sentenced for after you arrest them uh, for what you charge them with so again we're going to write down to the bottom click on download and just save to the desktop for me now once they've downloaded you want to open up your gta 5 folder so for me mine is d steam library steam apps common grand theft auto 5 for other users, uh, for example Steam, it may be um, C Drive, Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps Common, Grand Theft Auto 5. And we are just going to pop that over to one side for now. So first of all, uh, we want to open up Stop the Ped. Now, to open this folder you will need WinRAR or WinZip or another um, zipping piece of software. So we'll open that up, open up the folder. And then all we have to do to install it is literally drag and drop plugins and ragenativeui.dll into your GTA 5 main folder. And it will just install it for you. That's it. It's done. So if you're updating from an older version, what you'll press here is you will replace the files in the destination. 
Or in my case, I'm going to press skip because I already have the latest version installed and we're just doing it for a tutorial today. Next up, you want to find Ultimate Backup, open it up again in WinRAR, WinZip, etc. Open the folder and then again just drag and drop plugins and Rage Native UI over into GTA 5. If you already installed a previous plugin that includes Rage Native UI, then you only have to drag the plugins folder over. And again, it will install it like that for you. All done. No fuss. Again, if you're updating, press replace. If not, for a tutorial, I'll just press skip. And then, last but not least, Compulite. So again, open, open the folder, and then drag plugins into your GTA 5 folder. If you're updating, press replace. If not, we can skip. And a clean install where you haven't got it before, we'll just put it straight in, no fuss. So, next up, and now this is absolutely key, it is important. There's a folder, sorry, a file. So if we go into LSPDFR and keys, this is the default keyboard key or um, control for LSPDFR. Now, there are a few key conflicts when you install things like Compulite, uh, Ultimate Backup and Stop the Ped. And if you wasn't to do what we're about to do, you will seem to get multiple windows overlaid on top of each other yeah, when you're in game. So if I wasn't to do this now, and I was to press B for backup, I would get the default LSPDFR window and the ultimate win uh, ultimate backup window overlay on top of each other, so I wouldn't be able to use them effectively. So first of all, what we will do is we will look for the stop the peds key, which is here, so E, and we're just going to backspace that out and put that to none. We'll want to do perform frisk, so again backspace out, put that as none. Um, do be do. Next one we need to find is traffic stop interact here. So again, backspace out, type in none, and then there's a couple more or one more. Uh, we need to find backup menu. So down here, backup menu key B, backspace side out, put that to none. And then once you're done there, if you press file and save. That will overwrite the default and disable the default LSPDFR keys. So once we've done that, we just close that down and then we can boot up GTA and then we can go through what our current plugins will do for us. Now, a couple of extra things I should mention. We've just installed these new plugins, but we don't know how to use them. So what we want to do is we want to go into plugins. We want to go into LSPDFR and then we'll want to find the configuration settings for the plugins we have just installed. So we'll find stop the ped, open up configuration settings, and in here it will just tell us how we can use the plugin. So if you want to stop the ped on foot, you have to press press your key twice. So for me it's going to be E, which will then let us stop a ped on the street. If you want to search a ped, um, so context menu, search a ped, search a vehicle, for me it's G. So you can make a ped a pursuit only when you're pointing your gun at them by pressing T. And again, for example, this literally just goes through all the keys on how to work our plugin. You can change things, so probability, um, that red green categories can be found, so Red, yellow or green categories are objects you can find on a person or in a vehicle such as a firearm um, and things like that. So down the bottom there is another thing we need to look at. Doop -doo. Right, yeah. So if you have ultimate backup installed, the customization for coroner in this file will be ignored. So that just means that Ultimate Backup will automatically replace some of the keys in, in, in this particular plugin. 
so you don't need to worry about changing anything sort of down here so by default if you want to change what keys activate things um, you can do so otherwise we can just come out of there once we've had a look and then we'll go into ultimate backup open up that configuration setting and again this will now tell us just how we can summon backup so B backup key number pad zero for me um, is panic button so what that will do is it will issue a, a, name, a statewide panic and you'll get loads and loads and loads of police backup and it just goes through your keyboard keys your controller keys and then again this is more for lights and sirens so we don't really need to look at that at the moment so we'll close that off and then Compulite. So we'll find Compulite, open up the configuration settings, and here again it just tells you how to open it. So to, you should hold it to open, hold to open Compulite in a police vehicle. What I'm going to do is I am going to change that to Q because E in a police vehicle is uh, the horn or siren. If you hold it too long, you're going to get your Compulite vehicle at window loading up. Or, what we can do is we can leave it at E. And then the modifier key, what that means is a key you have to press in addition to the first key. So if I type in left control key. No, I mean, I did type it in, I just didn't type in right. That will then mean for me to open up Compulite while in a vehicle I need to press my left control and E simultaneously otherwise it won't open uh, just make sure I definitely top that in right I have so I made an adjustment if you make any adjustments make sure you go to file and save otherwise you'll have to do it again click on exit and once you're done and you're happy having a look at the keys and how to work the plugins feel free to load up GTA 5 and give them a try okay so we've installed stop the ped ultimate backup and compulite so let's have a brief overlook of what these additional mods or plugins could do for you so stop the ped we've got a couple of options first of all we're going to go find the ped we can stop you sir stop right there so what i'll do is we'll walk up to him uh i know i so i double tap e to interact so we'll double tap e and then we'll open up stop the ped menu and we can ask him for ID, driver's license, hunting or fishing license. We can request a ped check to dispatch. We can also do that through Compulite. We can move the peds, we can grab him or get him to follow us. We can set him on the ground. We can question him with a variety of different questions. We can pat him down. We can do a field sobriety test such as horizontal gaze, walk and turn, one leg stand. We can breathalyze him, we can drug swab him, we can request an escort vehicle such as a taxi, Uber or ambulance. And then we can dismiss the ped whether on foot or into a vehicle if we pulled someone over. We can also arrest him or let him go. So we're going to ask him for ID. ID please sir. So we can see that he's got a concealed carry permit for a handgun. We can see that his name is James West. So if we open stop the ped, we can request ped check to dispatch. And then dispatch will come back to us on some information regarding our guy here. So we've got a driver license, but it is suspended. Now he's not driving, so we can't do anything about that. But if we load up Compulite, so bring up our little Compulite tablet. And go to ped records. Once you've got the person's ID, you can then go into Compulite. And then it will tell you a little bit more about the person we've pulled up. So his name's James West. He's 30 years of age. Born on the 14th of January 1992. He's been stopped three times. He's not on probation. But he does have a suspended license. He's been cited for riding a bike without a helmet. Animal cruelty. And failure to present lightning. Lightning? Oh, lighting permit. Sorry. Failure to present lighting permit. But he's never been arrested, so that is fine. But where well, you can also search him. So if we press in, we can then 
Uh, well, we can question him, sorry. So, have you been drinking? Alcohol is not good for my health. True. Have you done any drugs? Uh, I, well, what, what am I supposed to answer for that? Do you have anything illegal on you? I don't want to go to jail. That's not answering my question, sir. Uh, do you live in this neighbourhood? Yes, sir. I live with my grandma. Oh, he's a family man. Uh, do you have any warrants? We already know he doesn't. So if we quickly search him. Uh, so, where are we looking? Pat down the bed. There we go. Let's see if he's got anything on him. Who's got a baggie of meth, a pack of cigarettes, a small baggie of cocaine, and some blotter papers. Wow, okay, this is turning out to be quite an interesting stop. Um, I mean, we can't technically action any of it because you've done nothing wrong. Um, but we can also, if we have a look, we can do field sobriety tests. So we're going to do a horizontal gaze for us. Let's just look at my pencil, follow the pencil. Yeah, he is completely out of his head. Look at that. Wait, he passed? The eyes didn't follow. His, he, his eyes just, just stared right at me in the camera. Um, again, we can breathalyze him. We can do a drug swab. So let's do a breathalyzer test. So I just keep blowing into my little blue inhaler here. Yep, so he's got... He's got some alcohol in his system. Uh, he's not above the legal limit. And then, again, if we do a drug swab, so we already know he's got drugs on him. Doopy doo. Thank you. We see he's tested negative for anything. So what we'll do is uh, we will let the guy go because we can't hold him on anything. So clear out, get out of here, be gone. Yeah, that's what I thought, dude. Now, Stop the Pad also has another system for vehicles. So what we can do is if we press G next to a vehicle, we can request a vehicle check, we can search it, we can obtain a plate, we can call the tow service, call the insurance, slow or stop traffic. So what we'll do is we'll obtain the plate number, 04 Lemus Charlie Oscar 941, and then again, standing next to the vehicle, press G, and then request vehicle check. That will then contact dispatch to run a check on that plate. Target vehicle license plate. Zero four Lincoln Charles Ocean Niners four one. Target is ten four. So we can say it's registered to Joseph James. The vehicle's not flagged and the owner's not flagged. We can also search the vehicle, which will then open up all the doors. So front doors, right doors. So we found nothing of interest, which is fine. And then what we can do is if we go to Compulite, remember what we did for our pet over there? Well, we can also do that for the vehicle as well. So we can see it's silver, it's e. we've got the plate, the owner's name, view the owner record. So we can see that the owner currently has an outstanding arrest warrant for evading arrest. So we've got his vehicle, but we don't know whether he's around anywhere. Which, to be fair, we could always have a look for him if we had a little bit more time. Now, if we go to our own vehicle, really guys, go to the trunk of our vehicle and press G, we can grab our rifle, we can grab our shotgun, we can replenish ammo, health, armour, grab traffic cones, fire extinguishers, we can do narcotics field test, uh, weapon serial check on things like drugs or guns we pick up. We could tow or call the insurance on our own vehicle. Slow down or stop traffic and disable realistic weapon system. So realistic weapon system, if it's enabled, will only allow you to carry your taser, your service pistol, which is normally uh, your, just a you know, pistol or, uh, sorry, and flares. Disabled means you can carry whatever you want at any time, it won't affect you. So for example, we got my stun gun, pistol and flares. 
So here we have a Glock 17. Now if I wanted to give myself uh, an assault rifle, oh, you'll see that it gives it me, but if I go off it, you see how it's just taken it off me? That's because I've got realistic weapon system enabled. If it was disabled, guys, what are you really doing? Come on. If it was disabled, uh, it wouldn't have took it off me. And that's really it for Stop the Ped and Compulite. We also have court case system. So what we'll do is we'll find a vehicle to pull over. This truck here, considering he's just hit someone. I did not cancel the traffic stop. Thank you. There we go. So this guy, we're going to do him for evading... Well, not stopping at the scene of an accident. Come on, pull over. We will shoot out your tire. No, we won't. Not yet, anyway. Alright, so this guy here. We can walk up to the vehicle we've just pulled over. We can ask him for documents and registration. We can question him. So, all documents, please. So, the guy is called Corrine, Corrine, Corrine Daniels. So, we'll pull up Compulite. We'll do a ped check. Right, you see how we've got overlaid menus here? That's because I didn't close our stop the ped menu. So, ped records, Corrine Daniels. No arrests, no citations. What we're going to do is we're going to give him a citation for vehicle operation and it was at fault at an accident I think. Was he at fault? No. Um, I mean he didn't stop at the site, at the accident site. Um, doopy doo. There's nothing on here for that actually. Careless driving. What we'll do is we'll just cite him for careless driving. So we'll go back, go to our open action menu, and then submit citations. And then, with Compulite, we also have a court system. If you go to court cases and click on the name, that will then allow you to see what we've cited him for, the outcome. So if we reveal outcome, he was fined $139. And that is... Practically your whole Compulite system and stop the pad. You can create citations, you can create arrests, you can do all sorts of things. And then the last thing to show you is with Ultimate Backer. If we just start, uh, let's have a look. Start to pursue. Citizens report a grand theft auto in Delco. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to teleport a little bit closer. Just so we can cut the time down a little bit. But this guy's now coming right at us. Whoa. Uh, he knows he's got nowhere to go, right? Anyway, ultimate backup. If you press B. You can call in Pursuit Backup, you can call in Code 2 or Code 3 Backup, call in a partner, canine partner, and call in local or state police, request spike strips, roadblocks, tactical support such as SWAT or noose, local or noose air support, and a police bike. So we'll call in air support, and that will hopefully keep the guy uh, detected, spotted. There's our helicopter, just taken off from the beach apparently. Wait, has that guy just gone back round? That guy's just gone back round. Can I go this way? Really? Alright, so again, we're going to run a little cheat here. We're actually going to spawn or teleport just opposite. So, we're going to call in spike strip support. There he is. And the spike strips, they don't always spawn in uh good places we can see that this car here is carburetor 
but he's failing to stop. So we're going to call in some more pursuit backup. We're going to call in some more local units. And you'll notice that they then appear on the map and they should then join the pursuit with us. I will just keep trying to ram him, shoot his tyres out if we need to. That's what we'll do is... We need to stop him. I wouldn't normally shoot out the tyres, but... Alright, get out the vehicle! Alright guys, you can cut your sirens. There we go, and if we arrest the ped... There we go. Pursuit concluded, one suspect apprehended. And then we can initiate our questioning process. So we'll pat him down to see what we've got. So on him he's got a baggy brown paper, paper, powder, a car fob. That's fine. And then if we go to compulate, ped records, we can then create an arrest report. We've got a couple of options for traffic. Um, you're on the wrong way, evading arrest, reckless driving. And we can do drug possession, which I believe... I mean, I'm just going to show you an example of what we can do. But you can charge them for all sorts of drugs. You can do other possession, non-violent crimes, violent crimes, other violent crimes. So there's all sorts of stuff in here. So what we'll do is we'll just charge him for that for the example video, we'll submit the charges and then if we go again to court cases, pull up our guy here, reveal the outcomes, it'll tell you that he was fined a total of $2,501 but granted probation for everything. Nice one justice system. And that ladies and gentlemen practically covers Stop the Ped, Ultimate Backup and Compulite. Hang on, there we go. Ha, huh, look at those beautiful lights. And that is going to be it from us today, ladies and gentlemen. So if you have enjoyed today's video and you have found it helpful, then please make sure to leave us a thumbs up. Don't forget, uh, forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please post them down in the comments and I will be happy to answer them the best I can. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.